Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brian. Today we're talking CNC work holding again. Now, if you saw my last video, that was about vacuum fixturing. And I described in that video all about what these are, where I like to use them, and you know, pros and cons. Um, one of their major pros is repetitive parts, cycling parts in and out of the machine, clamping and unclamping. All right, today I have a different project. I have to cut a batch of small parts. You can see I actually have it here in a table. It's already cut. I'll be showing you some video of the cutting process. But these parts are not suitable to vacuum, nor are they suitable to screwing down, you know, like with screws onto the table. I can't use clamps such as these, you know, to clamp the parts down. They're just too many. They're too close together. And of course, I'm, I'm cutting 64 out on the sheet at one time. So they're nested in there. So due to their size and their area, you can't use a vacuum. So the next best solution is one I'm sure you've probably seen before, and that's the super glue method, right? Super glue, painter's tape, right? It's, it's foolproof. And this really is ideal when you have small parts, something that you can't hold with a clamp, a screw, any other way. Now, you might say, hey, why don't you want to use tabs? You know, I, I probably could use tabs for this, have two tabs per part, and then after all 64 parts are, are done cutting, I could probably trim the tabs off. Well, one, that's a lot of work, cutting all those parts out and then trimming the tabs flush. It, but also, there's another issue to think about. In this case, I'm using a spiral upcut bit. Now, a spiral upcut bit puts uplift on your material, okay? And in this case, this is 1 8 inch thick ABS plastic. I mean, it's fairly flexible. So as you get to the center of the sheet, your spiral bit will tend to want to lift this sheet up off the table if you just have it clamped in the four corners and you're using tabs. And then some of those tabs will actually won't work because you'll be lifting the piece up, it'll cut all the way through, and you'll have parts kicking loose. So it'll be a disaster. So the super glue method is sometimes the absolute foolproof, no brainer way to go. Now, and I'm sure you've probably seen plenty of videos on it. I mean, it's out there on YouTube. There's gotta be hundreds of them. And I'll just describe simply the process here. You can go in depth and, and find a lot more detailed videos on the actual process. But simply saying, you know, you take your part, you put painter's tape on the backside. Of course, obviously you clean all the parts thoroughly first. I, I prefer to use isopropyl alcohol, you know, because uh, it evaporates real fast. Wipe the parts clean of any dust. Apply painter's tape to the back of your part. Apply painter's tape to your table. Spread some super glue on, once, on, on either the table or the part. Put it in place, shazam, you're done. Um, if you, if you want to use accelerator to help speed the curing process, you can. Uh, it, it, it's optional, but again, either way, once your part is affixed to the table, it's, it's not coming off. Oh, hey, before we, before we continue, let me just say thanks to uh, Starbond. They, they actually contacted me a while back and asked if I could, if they'd send me some of their products to try out. And I've always used Loctite um, super glue, and it's worked well for me. But I've tried this Starbond they sent to me. They sent me a variety pack, and it works great. I mean, it, it's at least as equal as any other glue I've tried. What's really nice about Starbond is it comes in a variety of colors. I mean, I have brown, I have black, I have clear. There's thick, there's thin. I mean, anything you want, they have. And I like the size of the bottle compared to, you know, the Loctite. The Loctite's a really small bottle, and this is much better. I mean, you know, the tips of these dry up, you know, really fast. And I don't know. This so far is working great. And the accelerator, I, this is the first time I ever use accelerator. Works great. I, I love it. I mean, it sets the stuff really fast. But anyway, thank you Starbond for uh, sending me that. And they also said that if anyone follows the uh, link in my description down below, they can receive a 10% discount on any purchase. So if you're interested in buying any super glue, give them a try. I mean, I'm happy with it. All right, so let's take this part and uh, it's already cut out. Let me peel it off the table here and show you. Now, if I, if this was, if I was using tabs here, 
obviously the parts would be coming off with this waste piece right here. I mean, you can see right here that all the pieces stayed securely fixed to the table. None of them lifted, none of them broke loose, uh, which isn't good. Check that out, huh? That's pretty cool, right? So now, basically, it's pretty much popping them off the table. There you go. Pretty simple, huh? Only downside to using super glue and tape when you got a bunch of small parts is you have to peel all this tape off the back of the part. <laughs> Well, I guess everything has its drawbacks, huh? But so look at the size of that part, right? This has like 1.3 inches of area. So at the best, if I was trying this with a vacuum table, one, I'd have to make a special fixture to work around the hole in the shape cut, and I would have greatly reduced area. I might not only have five pounds of holding pressure. That is not enough to keep this part secure while you're cutting it. So that's where super glue shines and vacuum fails. So I hope this has helped you. <laughs> I think the next video we're, we're going to step off of uh, CNC work holding and do something a little bit different. But uh, hey, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see any future videos, consider subscribing uh, and click the bell. You know the routine. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot better surface finish. I'm pretty happy with it. pretty impressive <laughs> no offsets or anything and they fit together that well I mean that's interlocked this is really cheap glue on plywood this veneer in the back side is, is it's less than paper thin it's disgusting I'm never gonna get that to look good um, hey, this was just a test anyway uh, and it works so I now I can do it out of a nicer quality wood or a better plywood and of course I won't I won't number these at least on the front so I don't have to worry about sanding them off but for this test I didn't want to have to figure the puzzle out I just wanted to be able to assemble it and make sure it all fit pretty crazy gonna have a lot of fun with this look at that man yeah. That might be too tight. This all depends on what you think, huh?
Not bad.